My name's John. Today I would like to show you how to install the time of flight sensor from ST Microelectronics. The board you want to buy is a P Nucleo 53L0A1. This test setup enables you to prove that the design will work before you have to invest in your hardware design. It comes in two parts the expansion board on this side and the Nucleo. The two parts taken together will build a pretty good system and the first thing you must do is take them out of the package and put them together. Now one should note there is a small liner over the sensor, keep dust out. One must remove that liner or the device won't work very well. Next thing, plug it into the PC. It will come up, you'll hear a little ding in your software, or you might not, but you need to install the software at that point. In order to download the software, it's a simple matter of going to www.st.com and searching for the files we want. The first one is stsw-link009. Do a search. It's going to come up with the first one here. Click on it. Roll down to the bottom. Get software. Accept the license agreement. And it's going to ask me to log in. I've been here before, so logging is pretty simple. If it's your first time, there's a quick little uh, menu. You'll get an email. Follow the directions. You're fine. What I'm going to do is save the file. And we'll go to it later. The next thing you want to look for is stsw-link007. Select it. Click on the part number. And what this does is upgrade the firmware to the STM32 support board. But you want to roll down to the bottom and once again get the software, accept the agreement, save it. And the last piece of software we want to get is the graphical user interface uh, that runs the board. And that software is STSW-IMG from the imaging group 006. Part number. Roll down to the bottom and get the software. Accept the agreement. Save. At this point, we've downloaded the three files that you need. What remains is to unzip them and to install them. Go into the nine, link 9 directory. You will find two executables. This for the AMD processors, this for the x86 processors. Mine happens to be an AMD processor. I choose this one. Go into the 7 directory, go in here, and you will find a Windows directory, and then you will see an ST-Link upgrade. Now what this does is download the firmware into the Nucleo board. Simply click on the Imaging 6 and run the installer. Now this one's different in that you must be the administrator of your processor in order to run it. In Windows 10, right click, run as administrator. When the program opens, you get a GUI screen and it takes a few seconds for the program to go out and find your device and initialize it. You can hit start and move your hand over the target and you'll notice that the signal range and the signal strength changes and that's it. Good luck and thanks for watching.